What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Barkington and in this episode I want to talk about Evolve OS. It is a Linux distro that is still in its alpha phase. Oh actually I believe it moved over to its beta 1 release. Yeah it's right there. Um, it is actually a very beautiful desktop, well I guess Linux operating system. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about it is I'm probably not going to recommend a lot of people to install it just yet, but I definitely think you should bookmark it and keep an eye on it. Uh, the reason why I don't want you to download it probably just yet is because their you know, repositories aren't really up to the fullest yet. Uh, like they don't have a screen recorder, an audio recorder. Uh, you can head over to the Google Plus community and talk to them there and see what they do have. Or, you know, you can kind of get in there and dig around. Uh, you can head over to the website and get some information from it as well. Uh, the reason I just want to talk about it is because I do a lot of videos on Chrome OS. And so a lot of people love that, you know, their Chromebooks, their versions of their Chromebooks and stuff like that. And as you can see from this image right here that somebody's posted, it looks eerily similar to Chrome OS. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's just that that's how things are going to kind of work here. Uh, so you're going to get the best of both worlds, in my opinion. You're going to get the fluidity and the function of looking like a Chrome OS, but then you're going to get everything that's available on the Linux side of things. And that's all that I really wanted. Uh, I'm a big fan of elementary OS, uh, a lot of you know that, uh, but I do want to let it known that this is looking like a desktop that's going to kind of jump up in that same territory. Uh, I obviously don't really like to pick and choose what's my favorite distro because I switch so often and I mess around so many times that it just it's really just how you're feeling. It's like me saying I have a favorite pair of uh, shoes or, or a girl saying a favorite pair of shoes. I, you know, it's just, it's whatever matches the the clothes or the dress that dress style that I'm trying to wear at the time, you know. So if I'm going out to a nice little, uh, um, you know, a dinner in a two-piece suit, you know, I'm obviously going to want some dress shoes. But if I'm going out to the beach, then, you know, my favorite thing is going to be my, my most comfortable sandals. Uh, so it just really depends on what you're, you know, you're looking to kind of work with. Uh, I really have been keeping a close, close eye on this. Uh, I've installed it one time over. I've actually jumped back over to Elementary OS, as you can see up top there. But I just wanted to talk about that and give everybody a heads up because, uh, you know, they deserve it. They've been putting in a ton of work. Uh, they probably release an update every, an update to something, it seems like almost every two weeks or so, uh, give or take. Uh, the thing you do need to note about it, though, is that you will need to learn a few different things. Uh, I don't know if I can find it on here. Uh, but the reason is, is you need to, uh, I I've shown another video, which you can find in my, one of my playlists, which show you how to install this budgie desktop on the Ubuntu environment, which is this right here. Um, but if you're going to, uh, which is shown right here, how to do it, you can head over to their website and I'll show it as well. Uh, but I do want to let you know that if you do install the, uh, Evolve OS in the, in the future, you're going to need to learn some of their commands. So make sure you go over to the forum section and you learn because it's not going to be simply a pseudo app to get update. It doesn't work like that. Uh, they have their own set of commands, which is why they've been building this Linux distribution from the ground up. Hence why they don't have the things that I was mentioning earlier, such as the audio uh, recorder or the uh, uh, screen recorder, uh, but I believe they will be implementing or looking to implement a simple screen recorder, which is the one that I'm using right here, this one right here, uh, which is by far the best one on the Linux distribution. Um, but yeah, just kind of throwing that out there, showing some love to the Evolve OS team. Um, I'm glad to see what they're doing. Hope for some big things in the year 2015. I expect it to be up to par to where I will recommend it to download for everybody in the year 2015, hopefully by the end of the second quarter so we still got some time now you know so sometime around i guess july-ish i'll say is a good time i don't want to put a time frame on these guys but you know just keep it out there head over to the website bookmark it maybe uh, add it to the community list that you have if you are on google plus and that's about it as always, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions or comments about this, uh, if you're watching this video later on down the road uh, and you want to go ahead and ask about it, so when I said about that July time frame, chances are I'll probably have this installed on a few of my, uh, you know, my, my computers, and I can kind of give you some more help about that. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next video.